Okay, so we're doing a response to Amelia Duran, who actually sent this to us. The proof is in her profile picture there on the side. Um, she sent War on Corruption a cease and desist letter. So, uh, Ms. Duran, let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, your cease and desist letter is null and void. It is not valid. And the reason it's not valid is I have not been sufficiently served a cease and desist letter. You literally slapped some shit together, posted it on Facebook, and thought that was going to suffice as a cease and desist letter. Secondly, you're saying that information is false, yada, yada, yada. Girl, I hate to break it to you. It's on a live stream of you soliciting Miko Hayes for sex. That was broadcasted all over Facebook. So, I don't know how that's exactly false. Third, multiple people have come out and stated that you are an excessive alcoholic, which is completely irrelevant, but you get enough people stating the same claim, most of them not even knowing each other, you know, it starts to add a little bit of uh, validity to the source of information, you know? So... Uh, this little hogwash that you sent me is absolutely fucking hilarious. I am just rolling, and I'm even, I'm being nice, because if you're going to send it to me, I may as well send it out to everybody that follows War on Corruption. So, this way, everybody gets your cease and desist letter that basically says, I, Amelia Duran, am butthurt because I'm being exposed for a piece of crap that prostituted or attempted to prostitute herself out to a journalist to get an article removed that he did not even write. And I absolutely find that hysterical. I mean, you completely made an ass of yourself on a live video and then turned around and sent a cease and desist, uh, sorry, cease and desist letter as an attempt to cover it up and you thought I was going to take it seriously? Come on, girl. I have been called so many... Sh things under the sun. I've gone through the holy hell running this platform. You think a cease and desist letter is going to scare the shit out of me? If you want to take it to court, let's go to court. Fine. We'll go to court. I'll bring all the evidence including a copy of the live stream which I do have. And I'll show the courts flat out. Everything that I've written in my articles are completely legitimate and true. I don't falsify information on people without having done my research. Furthermore, there are multiple videos of you drinking non-stop throughout the entire freaking video, and I've got those too. So, let's, uh, let's see what happens with your cease and desist letter. Let's see where we really can go with this. I'm excited. Are you excited, Amelia? I'm just thrilled, pink. Let's go. Let's play. So, I'm waiting. It's your move, and if you're going to send me a stupid bullshit letter, which, by the way, it says, Dear Whatever, not even in my name, don't block me. Have the courtesy to at least be a big girl, put your big girl panties on, and discuss it like an adult. You know, that's like a child, but they're grown up, fully developed, and from that point, they're aging. And so, we just had to make this video in response to you. Oh, hope you like my Photoshop. And, uh, that it. So, yeah. This is when you were targeting people for practicing, uh, wit that you thought were practicing witchcraft. Remember that one? So, that's a hate crime. So, yeah. Come on. Come on, girl. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're made of. You want to play uh, the War on Corruption game? We'll play the War on Corruption game. I'm good at it. Like I said, I've been through a lot worse than you, and I am not the least bit worried about what you are going to do. So, peace out, girl.